on today's show, a day in the life of a sailor and a new pilot project that brings hope to an Aboriginal community and a Qualicum Beach resident who is turning his idea into a reality. All that and more on Go Island. Thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We are at the Camosun College, into Urban Campus, at the Olympics for people in the trades. That's the culinary arts, fine woodworking, uh, cabinet building, automotives. And Cam, tell us what's going on right now uh, in this room here. Sure. Well, right now we have 14 students in grades 10, 11, and 12 from all high schools all over the southern end of the island. And they've all been working since 9 this morning on a project where we started the day off with a rough piece of wood like this, a piece of pine, and they're working towards, in that five and a half hours, they've got building a little jewelry box here that uh, has the um, regular sides on it. This part is all done in imperial measurements, and then they've had to build a little tray that slides in here in metric, so they have to work in both systems of measurement. And we're down to the last 45 minutes now and they're all coming along just fine. So it's, the tension is building. How does this really motivate students? Um, especially when they think about their future and what they might want to do. How is this a motivator? Yeah, I think, I mean, when I think back when I went to high school, I, I went to a high school in the mid-70s that was so focused on athletics. Yes. And I wasn't athletic, so there wasn't really much for me. And uh, there was sort of a band clique and an art clique and a, but there was sort of no shop clique, and I, that's what I sort of see this as, is just if you're good at this, which lots of kids are, then it gives you a place to shine. Well, what an exciting opportunity for all of them. And I have to say, I think these are quite lovely. I don't know if they're gonna be Mother Day gifts, or, <laughs> uh, or maybe they'll be sold on eBay. There's, or a, there's a lot of girlfriends <laughs> hanging around the door, I noticed. A lot of yeah. girlfriends hanging around the door. Uh, we are going to find out who is the lucky winner, and uh, we're also going to wander around the college because there's all sorts of competitions going on. It's a little mini Olympics here at Camosun College. But first, uh, CFB Esquimalt is such a huge part of our community here on South Vancouver Island. Whether you work there or know someone who works there, but how many of us have actually lived a day in the life, uh, been on a boat, figured out what, it, what it's really like to be part of that community. Well, Nikki Iwanishan has taken this challenge on. You're going to want to watch this story. A day in the life of a sailor. Thank you, Nikki Iwanishan. What an amazing story that was. You look good driving that boat. Uh, day in the life of a sailor? How about a day in the life of somebody who has to work in an automotive shop, fix a car, build a car? Uh, well, we're here at Camosun College, and I call this the the Olympics of the trades, where people come from all over South Vancouver Island to compete. Um, tell us what's going on in this room today right now. Well, today's a really exciting day. We get high school students come in from the South Island. We have students from Calchin High, Stelly's, um, Parkland School, all the Southern Island schools that have automotive programs yeah. and students that are interested in the automotive trade, prospective apprentices, people maybe they just want to try it out. So these students come in today to Camosun College and here today at Automotive, we have students go through several different competitions where they're trying to diagnose a vehicle or adjust something mechanical or wire up an electrical board like we have this electrical trainer here. This is new training equipment. What's your favorite car? Tommy? Oh, that would be the Bugatti, the Bugatti Veyron. I don't think we'll ever own one. It's about 1.6 million or something, but that's the fastest car in the world. So. Uh, of course. Of yeah. course you would love that car. Yeah. I'm just happy to have a car that works, so I'd like to be friends with someone like you to keep it working. Um, we are now going to head out uh, to do a little walking and running with James Green as he talks to a group that have stuck together and supported each other and staying fit and staying healthy. Those cupcakes look delicious, James, but if I had one, then I have to go for a run. Well, that'd be okay. And of course, if you want delicious cupcakes, the best place to come is a cooking school. And here at Camosun College, uh, with the chef extraordinaire, also a superstar celebrity, uh, Steve Walker Duncan. <laughs> what a great place for students to come and get excited about learning about the culinary arts. Tell us how the competition went today. The competition was absolutely fabulous. I mean, we had these students in. These are high school students. We had grade 11, sorry, grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12 students in today cooking a two-course menu in just three and a half hours, which for that age group, it really is, it's, it's just incredible to see what they can accomplish in a professional kitchen, in a professional environment. I'd like to send my children 
to that so that maybe they could come home and cook it for me. And does it, does, do competitions like this inspire young people to really start thinking about, you know what, I think this is what I'm supposed to do with my life. I'm supposed to be a culinary artist. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, these guys are now getting an opportunity to go toe to toe with others. And let's face it, I mean, the, the industry is competition every single day. We're going to take a quick break, but stay with us because when we come back more here at Camosun College and Jen Moranitz heads out to the Cowichan Valley to discover a new pilot project that's going to help the lives of the Cowichan Aboriginal people. We're having a lot of fun here today at Camosun College with the Interurban Campus where there's kind of a mini Olympics going on, but rather than sports, it's all about skills, automotive, uh, fine woodworking, the culinary arts, and all the students are uh, judged and then there's prizes given out. And uh, of course, just like the Olympics, gold, silver, bronze, and um, some fun things and goodies to take home. What a great way to motivate high school students and get them excited about their future. Um, we're gonna continue to hang out here, but first, we're gonna head up to the couch in Valley where Jen Moranitz checked out uh, a new pilot project that's happening with the Aboriginal people. It could really make a huge difference in the lives of the people living on the reserve. Thank you for bringing us that story from the Couch and Valley, Jen. We are here at the Camosun College Interurban Campus where young people from all over South Island have come together to compete. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, lots of great energy here. Um, and I tell you, our future is bright. There's some very skilled, very talented young people out there. Uh, we have to take a quick break, but stay with us because when we come back, we have the Royals Report. And uh, Kate Bergen has a great story on how one man turned his idea into a reality. Welcome back to Go Island. We're here at Camosun College where great ideas are born. And speaking of great ideas, how many of us have, uh, you know, one of those one of a kind, oh, I'm going to make a million off of this invention, or I have an idea that's going to change the world, but we never do anything about it. Well, there's one man in Qualcomm Beach who's actually turning his idea into a reality. I'll let Kate Bergen explain. Being here at Camosun College today makes me want to go back to school. It was so much fun. Oh, I'm so glad you had a great time. Kelly, tell us, for you, seeing the young people come here today and test their skills out, kind of dream about what they might want to do, what does this do for them? Oh, it gives them an idea, it gives them uh, an experience where they can start to develop a passion, gets them thinking about, okay, what might it be like to be a carpenter or a welder or an, an electronics engineer? or a woodworking uh, person, or a sheet metal worker, or a plumber. Uh, just gives them a taste of what it might be like, gets them into the shop, uh, working with the tools, working with the materials, and, and thinking about, hey, this might be something I might want to try. If you have any questions about all the different programs here at Camelson College, go on their website or come down and meet with one of the staff here. It really is infectious to be here. It makes you want to go back to school. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure that if you have any questions or ideas or thoughts for us that you come to us. We have a Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter. You can email us. You can call us. Uh, if you see me in the grocery store, say, hey, Karen, I love your show. I have an idea for you. Uh, thanks for watching.